hola Marcies. welcome back to another video so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew a laced up back with a keyhole neckline which is basically the back part of a corset dress or basically a bustier dress so yeah i have a lot of videos on the channel on bustiers and corsets but i never really um show the back portion of the dress um, on that how to make the back part of the dress but yeah that's what today's video is about showing you guys how to make this beautiful back of a corset dress that also has a keyhole neckline so if that sounds like something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get this video started so yeah, have my pattern paper placed on my workspace already so yeah the actual my actual half length is 16 for my front portion but for the back i do take off one inch so i'm making use of 15. so taking off one inch i make use of 15 but i'm going to go ahead first and mark my shoulder line which is basically half inch from the top of my pattern paper go ahead now to mark the 15 inches like i said your half length minus one 15 real a straight line there and i also go ahead to add half inches that's for the joining allowance of the top portion to the skirt portion so yeah i'll be labeling that the shoulder line sl and my waistline wl the next thing now will be to go ahead now and mark my chest line so my chest line is eight inches which is two inches above my bust point so eight inches roll a straight line there also labeling that cl chest line the next thing now will be i'm going to go ahead now and mark one inches of zipper allowance so yeah we're making use of a lace in here but for the top portion where we're going to be inserting um the press button so yeah we need that extra extension just so it locks up so yeah one inch right there leveling that the zip allowance so yeah now that i've done that the next thing will be to insert my bust measurement so my bust measures 34 divided by four gives eight and a half so marking eight and a half right there and adding two inches of sewing allowance gives ten and a half the same thing for my waist my waist measures 26 divided by four six and a half two inches of allowance gives eight and a half i'm making use of my rule to connect it like so to ending at the allowance that i added below the waistline i hope that makes sense so yeah the next thing now will be to go ahead now and work on my shoulder so my shoulder measures 14 divided by two gives seven so i'm marking seven at the shoulder line and also at the chest line just to use the straight line as you can see i'm going to go ahead now and mark one inches below the shoulder line which serves as a shoulder slant and yeah the width of the shoulder i want it to be measuring two and a half inches making use of my rule now to connect the width of my shoulder to the shoulder slant basically what you see me do and yeah for the depth of the neckline since it's going to have a keyhole neckline so it should be at least kind of high making use of two and a half inches making use of my french curve to connect it together like so and from the zipper allowance line it's just going to go straight to the end of the paper yeah so the next thing i will be to go ahead now and work on the armhole so measuring like so from the shoulder slant the midpoint measures three and a half so from that three and a half i'll be connecting it to my actual bust measurement that's what we have there the next thing will be to work on the keyhole neckline now so yeah the length of the keyhole neckline where i want it to stop i want it to be measuring six and a half inches so just marking six and a half inches right there and just i'm um, ruling a straight line right there so yeah the next thing i will actually create the keyhole neckline so yeah for the portion where i've been starting my pressing button i want it to be measuring half inches so yeah measuring half inches down what's my neckline and yeah for the width of the keyhole neckline i'm measuring three inches away from my armhole so yours can be smaller yours can be wider it depends on what you want and i'm making use of my hand to just kind of like connect this point together in kind of like a curvy manner so that when it comes together i kind of feel like this semicycle like you've seen from the end result yeah but yeah i felt like it was too high so i went down by one um, half inches more I hope, yeah so draw a straight line right there so that top portion now serves as our yoke yeah so i'm just going to go ahead now and just extend that line just so it's easy for me to cut this out i'm going to go ahead now to cut 
is out separating the yoke from the bottom portion cut through the armhole and here for the top like we said i'll be adding half inch for the shoulder joining allowance and for the neckline i'll be adding kind of 0 0.25 because i'll be making use of the bias to actually like turn it inside out so yeah adding like 0 0.25 round the neckline like so and i'll also be doing the same thing for the keyhole portion cutting it out but not exactly at the line yeah and now we're done with the yoke portion so i'm going to go ahead now and also cut the bottom portion cut 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 and yeah like you've seen from the end results it's laced up here yeah? so now i'm going to go ahead to create the opening for the lacing so yeah when creating the opening for your lacing you are not going to be working with your allowance again we're done with the allowances so all our measurements now will be from that allowance line so i wanted mine to be two inches wide it has four inches wide like all together both sides put together but when divided it gives two inches hope you get what i mean so i'm just going to go ahead now and roll a straight line right there and go ahead now to cut this out but when cutting it out i won't be cutting exactly at the line i'll be leaving an allowance of half inches and why i'm leaving all these allowances is just so i don't leave, need to leave the allowance on the fabric i just need to like place it and just cut straight hope that makes sense so yeah that's basically the cutting portion and we're just gonna insert your eyelets or your loops whatever you want to make use of for the dress so now i'm gonna make use of lace for the yoke portion and my ankara fabric for the bottom portion so i went ahead and i placed them and cut them out and you can see that the only allowance i added was below the yoke and above the bottom portion that's half inch to join them together and the little thingy in the yoke just to like create a neat finish at the that um portion where we'll be inserting the press the button i make use of the bias to turn the lace inside out and i'll be ironing and interfacing with the hair stay to the ankara fabric to give it more of stability so yeah so after i was done turning the lace portion inside out with my bias this is what i have yeah that portion that overlaps as well we'll be inserting the pressing button so i'm going to go ahead now and just join the ankara fabric to it so yeah i'm just joining like so so you turn it upside down ensuring that they are placed right side facing each other and i'm going to go ahead now and place the corresponding side that's the corresponding learning piece onto it and just seal the top by half of an inch so yeah you seal the top by half of an inch and then you seal the side also by half of an inch to create a neat finishing ensuring that your yoke stays inwards do the same thing for the other piece and after I was done, this is what I have. So after I was done, I just went ahead to just like create um, channels through which I'm inserting our uh, boning. Basically just sewing onto the fabric, giving like half inch depending on how wide your boning is. So yeah, this is the boning I intend using. I'm going to go ahead now to pass the boning through one of the channels. First, and once I'm sure that I've gotten to the end, I'm just going to make use of my hand to hold that point where it was at the end. And I'll be cutting like 0 0.75 inches above. You know this is a kind of like a candle boning it cannot be sewed upon so you have to be careful so you don't destroy your machine needle so now that i'm done cutting that i need four pieces right two for each side i'm going to make use of that to just cut three more pieces that i've been needing for the corset in total of four so i'm just going to go ahead now insert that and insert the rest in the remaining three portions after i was done this is what i have yeah the next thing i'm going to do now will be to go ahead now and give this a very nice press just so it lies flat because now it's kind of bumpy yeah and the next thing will be to go ahead and join the bottom portion of your dress to the top portion of your dress so you have to do that you'll be placing that um right sides facing each other basically what you see me do placing its corresponding learning piece onto it yes yeah, sewing by half of an inch and also sewing that other end which we're going to insert our zipper to have like a neat finish after i was done this is what i have so i was not having i'm not having a eyelet machine and my sister was going to the market so yeah i just told her to help me and fix that in the market and now we can continue the next thing now that is left is to fix our modesty panel and yeah this is highly optional it depends if you want to leave yours open or if you want to just covered so yeah 
just basically cut the fabric that you know will be enough to cover the opening that will be left behind the clothes i hope that makes sense but for mine i have it measuring nine inches in length and eight inches in width so i also went ahead to cut out a linen piece that will be using to turn it inside out so yeah to do this just go ahead now and sew three corners leaving one side which has the longer length open to turn it inside out so yeah basically so after i was done i turned it inside out ironed it and i just went ahead and just like sew it onto the dress as you can see yeah just sew it in you can also like if you want it to be open later you can just fold the modesty panel in and yeah so the next thing will be to insert my zipper face like so seal insert my zipper and yeah insert my pressing button at the top portion and that's basically it on how to cut and seal the back portion of a corset or of any bustier dress that has a keyhole neckline so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos our next video is actually going to be on the making of the flounce sleeve yeah of the flounce circular sleeve which i have currently on my dress so and i'm sure you won't want to miss out on that so yeah thank you for watching once again bye bye and see you in my next video